So, I am in my car, um, but as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be giving you a car tour because I've seen, I haven't actually seen very many car tours of minis, which is shocking because there's millions and millions of minis in the world and not very many people um, seem to do car tours. So I wanted to bring you one because this is literally like my dream car and I can't even tell you how grateful I am to be in a position where I can buy my dream car at the age of nine. So just a little rundown of what this car is. So it's a mini one. Um, it's not a Cooper. I, when I was looking at the Coopers around like between 2013 to 2016, the Cooper style I didn't like. Um, and I could never find the style that I liked until I found this car. And this car is obviously a Mini 1 like I said. And it also is a 1.2 engine which it's very rare actually for these styles of cars. They're always like 1.2 litre, which. 1.2? What am I about? 1.6, sorry. And for my age and how long I've passed my test for, it's quite expensive to go for a 1.6. And a 1.2 litre engine normally is just what you need, really. Um, uh, it's a petrol three door, oh, it's beautiful, it's in pepper white, oh my god it's just beautiful, that's all I have to say about all of that stuff. Right, so this is what I see when I drive, and then if you can tell, it's got little accents there of lights, and it's also got like these. I that is one of the features that I really, really, really wanted because in my old car it was a Ford Fiesta. It, you couldn't lock the car, and as a girl, you sort of really want to lock the car. Um, but if we look over here, we've got these which obviously like do the windows. Uh, those are just those mirrors. It's getting a bit steamy. But yeah, they are just the mirrors. And then obviously you've got the speaker. And then that pulls up the front bonnet. And then, if we go a little bit closer. Those are all the lights. So you've got your fog lights. Uh, this car has automatic... Um, headlights and stuff which I really really like because I never know when I should put my lights on and when I shouldn't so that's brilliant and then you've got like the intensity and stuff there um you also then have a little fan air vent and I love that it's like all circles as well I just love that feature about it oh you can see my reflection so you've got the petrol gauge here which my car is not very full because I didn't really want to fill up too much and you've got the speedometer and then you've got this little thing which obviously tells you the time it tells you the temperature outside which as you can tell it's pretty freezing and it's probably the reason why it's snowing um, and then you've obviously got miles per hour but if you go if you press this button here it sort of changes all of that um, but that is just the one that I like it on but you can have it on how many miles you have left in your tank and all of that stuff um, but yeah and then obviously you've got the revs and this also shows you like when you have like things wrong with the car and like for all those lights there as well um, on here you've obviously got your indicators um, and you've got your high beam and stuff on here as well and then obviously on this side here it's really hard to show you because this wheel is so big uh, but you've obviously got all of like the windscreen wipers and stuff like that and then this you can press it on auto or not um, I don't know which one I prefer because I haven't really driven this car in the wet yet so I don't really know whether I like it or whether I don't like it um, but <laughs> you know uh, I'm sure we'll figure that out when I start driving it a bit more anyway 
moving on to the center console so basically this lights up as i showed you on the door it's got like an accent color which you can change up here um i don't know what the rest of these do to be honest with you um unless you can change each side but i haven't quite figured that out yet anyway so yeah we've got this is what i normally have it on when i uh, come in the car because it is bluetooth and it's wireless so if i scroll down here it's obviously connected to my phone and then that's currently what's playing on my phone um but i've got it on mute so you obviously don't have to hear any of that but obviously this is like the main dial and stuff and like if i want to phone somebody i've got that and then that's all of my contacts and that's the history of the car and then that one is obviously like settings and stuff and how you set it up and then this one is the radio so you can like set up the radio stations on this one but and if you like hover your i think it's hover your yeah if you hover your finger over it like that it changes them which is quite cool um you can also change your song on that one if i'm playing a song for example um and that's just the volume stuff i don't really know what those do um i haven't really tested those out yet but i'm sure i'll figure it out at some point um and then we've got obviously like this stuff here which is pretty standard really um i love that you can change that it's got climate control so like i can be really cold and then someone in my car could be really really hot so it wants it cooler which i find really really cool um but i'm just gonna turn that off um and then we've got all of the buttons start stop um this is for um i think it's the i think it's called start stop same as obviously like the engine start stop button but it's basically when you're sat in traffic the engine turns off or when you're sat at traffic lights the engine turns on but i i'm not sure whether i like that i haven't quite decided whether i like it um but i haven't really tried it i used to have it in my instructor's car because he had like i said basically the exact copy of this and i wasn't sure whether i liked it or not um but i'm sure i'm sure i'll try it at some point when i start like driving back to university and stuff um but anyway moving on we then have the gear stick which is actually quite um what's the word it's quite faded actually that, um but yeah it's quite faded but i think that's just the style of them um but i need to put some like leather cream on it because it's got a leather steering wheel um and then i've got a little little olaf because i need you always need a car friend um, and then down here um this is what controls the center hub so this sort of like moves around and as i'm turning it like they're changing like that which is really cool um and this one basically like they all just control it and stuff um so that's good that's in a really convenient place when you're driving and stuff you don't have to like constantly keep looking up um i've got hair on me uh but then obviously like this is the handbrake and stuff i like that it's actual handbrake i don't think i'll like if when i get a a newer newer car when they don't have them um but yeah and then this is just like the passenger side if it's gonna focus i don't think it's gonna focus there we go i've got a little jelly belly air freshener and then this compartment's really cool if i push it down uh it has a little secret compartment which is really cool so i keep my sunglasses in there because where how i sit when I'm driving I'm that close that I literally all I have to do is just like reach like that it's like not out of my reach at all um, and then obviously you have a little compartment down here which just has like my thing for when I connect my uh, have my phone up when I'm using Google Maps and stuff and then this is really cool the owners who previously had this car didn't really use it but this is like correction not correction um color touch up paint so if you've got a scratch or by the doors um where the um where you open the doors the uh what's it called the door 
like the rubber on the door seems to like wear the paint off a little bit so that's just there so you can correct it and make it look white again and then the on that side it just basically how it mirrors everything obviously that the driver's side has and also you can see there the reflection um not the reflection in the little thing that it has a light there so everywhere in the car has like accent colors which i find really cool and i haven't driven my car yet in the dark so i'm quite sad about it um but yeah on the seats i don't know whether you can tell it's got like a rainbow effect detailing on like the embroidery which i find so cool that's all for the inside actually to be fair this car is was clean um but cars never really stay clean for that long I just have so much hair in it um but yeah the boot is actually quite big i'll show you the boot now but help if i started recording so if i press this button down it opens it so this is the boot itself it's actually really really big um and these seats both go down as well and then it also has a little compartment here so it's a fairly large boot be yeah, basically I'm going to talk to you about my driving experience now and like how long it took me to pass and all of that stuff just as a little quick you know segment because as I said this dri this car means quite a lot in terms of like my confidence as a driver um so I started to learn to drive quite late actually so when I moved here so it would be three years in April so I was I would have been 17 that July um, after we moved and oh it's so good and I didn't learn to drive I didn't start lessons until about the November time so I had this one instructor um, which he wasn't brilliant to be honest um, I got him as a recommendation from someone who I went to school with and no means it doesn't mean to say that that driving instructor wouldn't have been perfect for someone else like uh, my friend she passed within like two months of driving with him like he plays to some people's strengths and other people's weaknesses it just isn't brilliant like the way that just the way he was just wasn't my, my cup of tea like, not that you hate them you just don't get along with them and that was definitely what was wrong with that driving instructor so it went on for like a couple of months and I didn't really have very many new very many driving lessons because he kept cancelling them and I then started to cancel some because of like just reasons that I just didn't enjoy my driving lessons and I absolutely hated them and every time I got in the car I literally felt so unsafe like yeah it was just not a fun experience so in the August um bearing in mind I hadn't had any driving lessons very much but I then my dad then found me a new instructor Oh, he was the most amazing instructor ever. I had him for about five-ish months. So I started at the end of October and I passed my test sort of like a third of the way through January um, that following year. So I'd been driving for just over a year now. A year and two months? A year and a month? A year and a month. Yeah, if I do my maths right, a year and a month. So I've been driving for... I'm not a new, a new, newly passed driver, but I'm also not a, like, an experienced driver. Um, but from August onwards, I want to say, I feel like my confidence in driving has just excelled completely. Like, I literally get in my car and I feel like this, this person who isn't bothered by anything and, like, dual carriageways don't phase me anymore like that was the one thing I used to hate like I'd find every way possible not to go on them and like the idea of going on a motorway doesn't scare me and like driving on my own weirdly enough I like to be fair I like to have someone in the car with me but I feel better when no one else is in it when I'm actually driving if you know what I mean and yeah so that is everything. Oh, my little uh, plush car just driving past while I just sit in my little broom broom. Anyway, 
Um, but yeah, that is everything I wanted to chat through in this video. Like, this is literally the most amazing car that I could possibly have imagined to have been able to buy myself at the age of 19, and I just am so in love with it. Um, and I just wanted to share it because this YouTube channel is for me to share my personal experiences and hopefully people watch them. So, you know, I hope you don't mind, <laughs> basically. Um, but yeah, I hope you did enjoy this video. Anyway, the bits from at the outside probably are a bit rubbish because, I, as I said, I do live on a main road. Uh, but other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you for another one.